so we come back to the course so what were we doing in the last class what did we do we looked at the chip design flow we looked at the chip design flow from um, requ requirement analysis to shipping to the customer hmm? and we looked at various stages of the design implementation phase where we saw that things have to be analyzed as they have to be uh, simulated verified uh, many times before uh, you know even the uh, layouts are made and uh, after the layouts are made they are again verified again simulated and sure that all the timing sign offs are fine and then we tape it out so this much we had done in the last class today we will start to look at a different abstraction of uh, design flow where uh, we are not really talking about uh, entire chip hmm? uh, we we're, we're talking more of more of it in terms of libraries hmm? uh, this could be talked about talked out also in terms of chip but uh, i'm i'm talking it in terms of libraries because while we are still having the specification phase here while we still have the behavioral understanding phase here and an rtl kind of a phase here what we also are saying is that we will go to circuit and layout stage okay so in terms of design level the language that is used for specification is common english hmm? behavioral description is typically a very log code which is an executable program rtl is a sequential machine and machine representation of the design that you are looking at you synthesize the rtl and you come to the stage of logic gates and those logic gates are actually implemented by using transistors hmm? and these transistors are actually implemented on silicon in the form of a layout which appears to be sets of rectangles overlapping you know one over other so that you can create transistors so in this particular course we will actually go from logic down to layout stage okay so what are the units in which we talk of uh, when we talk of uh, uh, any a level of abstraction so when a, when you are at the level of behavioral understanding or rtl you talk of it in terms of throughput and uh, number of clock cycles taken when you go to logic you talk of how many inputs that is literals and uh, logic depths okay how many number of stages are we talking about when you come to circuits you measure its efficacy in terms of speed in terms of nanoseconds power in terms of uh, microwatts leakage in terms of micro amperes or nano amperes and so on okay so and uh, layout you measure in terms of area in terms of microns or micron square yes uh so uh, in the starting you said that we are now moving to a library view in a in library a, so design flow yeah yes so what exactly uh, how is this like what do you mean by library here exactly okay library is a so okay you you know programming yes so something you know yes. so what is math.h so it's a header file that contain p process yeah so it's already available to you yes, you do sir. not need to create it every time you write a c program do you no sir yeah so a library is something like that see when you are going for a sock design see last time there was a question ki will we make so many millions of transistors by hand रिमेम्बर लास्ट टाइम देर वॉज अ क्वेश्चन की लेआउट में इतना सारा काम कैसे करना पड़ सकता है सो नो यू डोंट रियली नीड टू डू दैट वॉट इज डन एज अ लाइब्रेरी इज क्रिएटेड विच इज अ कलेक्शन ऑफ डिफरेंट व्यूज ऑफ डिफरेंट गेट्स डिफरेंट लॉजिक डिफरेंट इंप्लीमेंटेशन ओके एंड देन दैट इज यूज बाई बाय द चिप डिजाइनर वेन दे आर डिजाइनिंग द चिप्स if we come back to the same example as we had about a residential complex then we said that floor planning is like defining which place would have which tower you remember that example that we discussed in the last class when we talking about chip design flow yes sir where there would be a swimming pool and everything 
Yes, now let's sir. say we are talking about building a tower. So I am talking about building a microprocessor. Hmm. Microprocessor is one component that goes on that particular chip. So this tower is one one such component that goes into this residential complex. Now come to think of this builder. Will he build? Will he start to make everything uh, like from bricks onwards? Uh, on the site or will he procure bricks from outside and simply start building the building yes yeah, so he is uh, he will procure the bricks hai na so that is something like what we are talking about uh that for a standards for a soc designer uh, for a system level designer he need not worry about how the bricks are built so we will give them gates and we will give them a library of gates so you will have bricks you will have uh, windows you will have uh, uh, glass panes you will have doors all these could be prefabricated and you can simply put them into your building as the structure builds up hai na in the same manner we will already give you and gates nand gates a, a range of and or invert or or and invert gates adders multipliers and a whole range of such material which you can directly use as soon as you start your uh soc design so as an soc designer you need not worry about uh how how many layers i have put there or nothing you simply use these gates you're not really worried about exact layout of the transistors you're more worried about the logic part and the logic depth and so on okay okay so so these are this dot dot lib files that the fast dot lib or the slow dot lib that we use to while doing kind of doing the lab, by converting from rtl to netlist these um, no so dot lib files are simply characterization of these gates that we have designed the library that we have designed okay dot lib file is simply a characterization we'll just come to that don't worry in the next slide we will look at that also but uh, library library is a collection so uh, i would say look at it like a constellation of various cells hmm? our zodiac is a collection of 12 constellations from these yes, to pisces okay similarly a library would be a collection of various functionalities which are which is available in one group each of these constellations each of these uh, uh, say aries or pisces will have their own set of stars and will and and can have their own impact on human behavior you know that is what astrology is all about whether you believe it or not that is what so i believe kar rahe hain nahi kar rahe there is someone who believes in it and this is what they are saying hmm. so each of these libraries each of these uh, cells whether it is a and cell or a nand cell or a adder or whatever they have their own behavior they have their own characteristics so that characteristic and that behavior is encapsulated or described in the dot lib files raghav yes sir okay but that that dot lib file is not the library the library is that zodiac which includes all the 12 uh, stuffs okay okay so it's uh, the dot lib file is basically a subset of that yes okay it's a small subset okay okay sir okay anything else sir one more thing sir in this uh, can you uh, also show throw some light on this design time and the logic depth uh, at the behavior and the logic level uh, so if you do the computer architecture course you will get that idea don't worry okay okay sir so logic depth is how many stages in one particular pipeline stage how many how many stages of logic go in every pipeline stage uh, design time is about how quickly you can design something or what time does it take to execute the program on your you know the number of clock cycles and all that so that that is that is in computer architecture course that you will get the handle on okay okay sir okay can i lower your hand raghav sure sir sure sir what is the throughput here i am sorry Mention something throughput decide behavior. What is it? Ah, uh, what would decide behavior? I'm sorry, Moen. I I I missed that. Throughput about design time. 
throughput about throughput yes in talking about throughput what exactly is what exactly is throughput throughput means how many how many instructions you can execute per cycle or per second again computer architecture this is a higher so in this course dvd course is, is let us say here onwards and what you're talking about over here is ca what we did in the last class was covered in will will the, the entire flow would be covered in the vdf course is that okay gagan if you have a question Yes, sir. Uh, if I do, uh, I mean, I take the C or C plus plus code and do the behavioral modeling. So, if I get a RTL, so where would I keep that C C plus plus? Yeah, I would I keep it in specification or behavior? So it will be behavioral. It is high level synthesis. So behave that is uh, just that instead of writing your behavioral code in Verilog, you have written that in C or C plus plus. And then from C to C plus plus, you go towards the RTL phase by using high level synthesis flow. Okay. Yes. Okay. So we move forward. So we've not yet started DVD. Actually, we're just talking about what is around DVD. But it's important because you should know where we are. It's important to have the overall and context. The layout be automated. Like from uh, have a circuit design and a floor plan. Can it be automated somehow? So floor plan uh, at the RT at the SOC level is already automated. Uh, when we talk of uh, uh, when we talk of uh, floor plan or uh, layout design at standard cell level, you can automate it, but it can lead to area loss because automation can lead to some loss of area, and therefore uh, we would want to avoid that. Area is uh, so I have not yet used this thing over here in this class, but in VLSI, area is gold. so uh, we don't want to lose gold so typically we would design layouts by hands in this course definitely you will design them by hands um, but uh, yes you can automate them but those libraries are not usually dense enough at least the automation has not uh, uh, reached that level of fineness that they can match uh, uh, human designs but with more and more constricting drcs coming into picture probably we will get very good layouts even by automation akash you have a question yes sir actually in the refresher module we have studied very log in which we have implemented just like behavior level uh, suppose uh, we have implemented four ladder using behavior level then converted into in the synthesizable level so how could we relate this very log to computer architecture so <laughs> uh very log is you just look are looking at an adder part of it so you are not able to relate it but when you look at a processor a processor would have adder it would have a lot of other combinational blocks it would have a complete alu in itself is it not yes sir so that also you would write in the behavioral description and that is what you will cover in ca i'm not saying that ca is going to teach you very log what i am saying is the concept of throughput and design time or function unit and clock cycles is being covered in the ca course that okay. is where you talk about sequential machines and executable programs and so on very log doesn't mean ki uh, you're always just behavioral or very log doesn't mean that it is being taught in ca no ca will not teach you very log okay okay see a very log you have to learn yourself Meher, you have a question. Uh, yes, sir. So, what do you mean? But I mean, I don't understand why layout is in a lower level than circuit. Like, I mean, uh, what? So, what? Here, what do we? What do we exactly mean by layout? Then? Because uh, I'm so. Yeah. See, as we go lower and lower, we are coming very close to silicon technology. Okay. Okay. So. circuit is a schematic that you have in piece wise even if you not done you know virtuoso schematic you would have done piece wise schematics earlier hmm? i think all of you have already used virtuoso by now am i right yeah 
so uh, that is just a schematic uh, you you what do you do in a schematic you simply create a rectangle or a, a, a symbol like this and say this is a pmos hmm yeah. but if you cannot draw this on silicon and say ki ha bhai ab isko pmos samajh lo okay okay for silicon you need to have a a layout view where this would be the polysilicon gate and one of this will be source the other part will be drain right okay so this is much closer to silicon this you can actually implement on silicon this you cannot so by layout we mean the actual implementation on hardware right? no by layout we mean uh, a set of uh, cad layers which if you convert them into masks you can implement this particular functionality that that you had specified on the silicon on to hardware so there is an entire fabrication process that is ha that has to happen after that also right right okay so, so yeah layout is basic so we can implement those circuits uh, with the help of masks on those silicon wafers yes That's we will fabricate not implement we will fabricate fabricate is the fabricate. correct word there right uh, and one more question when we when we say function units we mean something like at the abstraction level of say an adder or uh, something like that and then logic is basically or the zor gate or, and the and gate you use in an adder right? yeah so when you're talking of function unit you may talk about uh, 1000 uh, max multiplier and accumulator okay. you know msc units yeah yeah got it, mm -hmm. got it. okay so shakti is asking should we do verification after each uh, step of design abstraction yes uh, whenever you're doing a hand off to a different team you have to verify your stuff it may actually be a different team working on the on the different abstraction so before you hand off from your team to the other team you have to verify there is no two ways about it Is that okay, Shakti? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, Ranjit here. So yes. I have a doubt, sir. When we look at the top level specification and we look at the design, we follow this top top down approach. We first look at the specification, design the behavioral model, and synthesize to RTL and so on. But when we look at the prerequisites for each and every uh, uh, design abstraction, suppose we uh, we take the case of a circuit. So for that. Uh, the layout is prerequisite or if we take a logic uh, design then no, uh, no, 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 no layout is not a prerequisite you design a circuit and after you ensure that the circuit is fine then you go to the layout phase uh, sir suppose if we take the uh, abstraction of logic suppose if we want to uh, design a nand gate then we need the uh, uh, transistors so this wait, this wait, wait. Like the so, would be so we will come to that detailed level of description in the next slide would you want to wait till then uh, yes sir i can wait from logic to layout we are coming in the next slide yeah yeah thank you sir okay.